I wonder if there's a flat lay. I tried to look up the definition of a flat play photo, but there isn't one, not even on Urban Dictionary. This is like the one time Google's let me down. That didn't work. Hi everyone, welcome back to episode two of my Instagram series. If you missed the first episode, you can totally check it out. It'll be linked down below, but it was just an introduction video. There w Basically in that video, I talked about what's going to be in the series like this video, which will be your ultimate guide on how to take a flat lay photo for your Instagram. And this is going to totally step up your Instagram game. Let's get started. Basically a flat lay photo is all this. My definition of a flat lay photo would be where you take a bunch of objects and you place it all in a really like attractive to the eye way and then you take a photo of it, edit it, edit it, and then you take a photo of it, edit it, post it to Instagram. Take that Urban Dictionary, use that as your definition. So flat lay photos do extremely well on Instagram. There is not a flat lay photo I didn't like. For the countless hours and years that I've spent on Instagram, I've seen a lot of fashion bloggers, fitness accounts, food accounts, post these amazing flat lay photos and I was always like, how did you do that? I figured it out. When I started getting really into Instagram and taking professional like photos, cause I am in no way a professional photographer. After lots and lots of practice, trial and error, I have learned how to master the perfect flat lay photo. I'm so excited to share with you guys my five steps, only five. Before I jump into tip number one with you guys, I just want to state that you do not need an expensive camera to take a flat lay photo or any photo in general. You can simply use your cell phone, which is still really expensive, but I'm just saying that you do not need to invest in another camera to take photos for Instagram. So before I even start creating a flat lay photo, I usually think about what story I want to tell and create a theme. So I decide whether I want my flat lay to be a fashion photo, fitness, or food. From there, I choose what my main object is going to be. So for example, if I make an amazing acai bowl, then that is my main object and surrounding it, I'll put all the ingredients that I use to make that acai bowl. So if you're a fashion blogger, maybe you wanna take a flat lay photo of what you're wearing that day. So the clothing, shoes, accessories, there really are no rules when it comes to taking a flat lay photo, but those are usually the storylines that I go with when I'm taking mine. Basically creating a flat lay photo can be very, very detailed depending on what you want to create. Whenever I'm creating a flat lay photo, I like to organize it by shape, color, size, and play around with the spacing and different angles of each item. There's a lot of flat lay photos that feature lots of white space and not so much. It's about what you think is attractive to the eye and how many items do you are using in your flat lay photo. I also love accounts that stay true to their aesthetic and make flat lays, whether it's monochrome, black and white, minimalist, or your very colorful account and everything's just every color of the rainbow. Whenever I'm creating a flat lay photo, I'm usually working with a very neutral palette because that is the aesthetic that I chose for my Instagram and everything I own is black. For my Instagram aesthetic, I love to describe it as polished with a lot of edge. So it's definitely very clean with all the white background, but then also it's very urban and rustic. I love adding greenery to my flat lay photos for a pop of color, playing with different textures such as denim or marble or heavy knit sweaters. So definitely keep all of that in mind when you are creating your flat lay technique. What are you going to be taking your flat lay photos on? I know many of you want to know how people get their flat lay photo backgrounds to be so white and the secret is very inexpensive. All you need to do is go to your local craft store or drugstore and buy those 99 cent poster boards. And if you're looking to go with different colors, you can definitely use any of the colors that they offer. And that's it, that's the secret. Uh, video is done. Some other great options for backgrounds include hardwood floors, brick, tile, and white bed sheets. Or you can go to your local craft store and buy a bunch of different textured papers to add to your photos, like this gold one that you've probably seen in plenty of mine. 
and because I love white marble, I found this at my local hardware store and you can definitely do the same and see what different colors and textures they have that fits your aesthetic and then work it into your flat lay photos. Really the options are endless, but those are some of my favorites that I use for my flat lay photos. The next step is lighting, which really can make or break a photo. Now, you don't necessarily have to invest in expensive lighting. You can simply go near a big window when it's daylight out or take your flat lay photos outside for even better lighting. But if you have studio lighting on hand, then definitely use it because it can also make an amazing flat lay photo. I personally love using my umbrella lights, which honestly were not expensive. I got them on Amazon for like 50 bucks. I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out and get it for yourself. The last and final step to create the perfect flat lay photo comes down to the apps you use and the editing that you do. Now, you don't have to be a Photoshop pro to create the perfect flat lay. You can simply download apps on your phone, use those, and bam, post it to Instagram and get likes on likes. My two favorite editing apps are Facetune and Visco. I definitely use Facetune more than Visco, and the reason why I love Facetune is because of the filters, and not only the filters, but the fact that you can spot edit with the filters. What I mean is, typically when I'm using a white background for flat lay photos, I love using the paper Azure, which gives it this blue filter. And then for lighting, I usually go for gamma. Then when you go click wipe, you are able to actually wipe away the filter where you don't want it to be. And so when I'm editing the photo, I just use my finger to wipe away the filter and the spots I don't want it. And say that I make a mistake and I go too far, I just go click apply. I'm able to zoom in and fix the areas where I messed up. After I'm done using the filters, I'll go to details and just sharpen any areas of the photo I want to stand out. After I'm happy with all my edits, I just go and save the photo to my camera roll so that I can post it to Instagram. For photos that I don't think need much editing, I typically use Visco. And on Visco, my favorite filters are N1 and S2. After I'm done adding the filters, I'll go in to the other editing options and I usually add some contrast to the photo. I brighten it and then I use the sharpening tool just to give it more detail. And then I save that image to my camera roll as well so I can post it to Instagram. So now you guys know my easy tips and tricks on how to take the perfect flat lay photo. I hope you all found this video helpful and now that you all are going to be Instagram flat lay photo taking pros, make sure to tag me in your photos on Instagram. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. If you are enjoying this Instagram series and like this video, make sure to let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. And for those of you who are new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. I upload videos three times a week, including this Instagram series, which will be airing every Sunday. I will see all of you in Wednesday's new video. Until then, have a great Monday. Bye loves.